Hello everyone, happy Friday Night Live, Wanda here, and I am <laughs> squeaky clean now, right? <laughs> uh, we're going to do some foil tonight on a flamingo, how is that? So we're going to wait for Miss Katie to come on in, and we have our lovely moderators, Lori and Jennifer with us in the comments. Lori's going to be grabbing links, and Jennifer will answer questions. If you guys should have any, thank you both very much, ladies. I'm so excited that you're here. And hello, everyone. Welcome. Happy, happy Friday, April 22nd. Can you guys believe it's already April 22nd? What is going on, right? So this is part of the new foil. Is this cool? This is the Aztec. What did I call this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember what I call Oh, Aztec Bohemian. You guys, I have, what, 276 listings. And I try to remember the names of each one. But <laughs> it's kind of crazy around here. But I wanted to show you something cool. Look at this right here. How cool is that? So I'm probably going to figure out a way to use these, like, in here somehow. But we're going to do this up and we're going to have some fun. And my comments are doing that same business that they did last week. Oh, there they are, thankfully. Ooh, hi, guys. Hi, Alani and Allison and Connie and Matt, Lyra, Elaine. Come on in, everybody. And we are waiting for Miss Katie. Hi, Tonita. Um, I was going to grab something else. I forgot already. So I wanted to show you these. I am so... I'm so excited about these. They are super holographic, trippy, hippie foils. Look at these. I just, I love every single one of these. Hi, Betty. They remind me of Kaleidoscope. I should have named it Kaleidoscope, but <laughs> they're so trippy. Look at that. It's like, I don't know what it's like. Fish eggs or snake skin, but it's too pretty. <laughs> and look at this one. It reminds me of like a bamboo wall. Um, you know, the bamboo wall fabric that you can, it's woven. So pretty. Or grass wall. <laughs> they look scary. What? Scary. A groovy overload. I agree with that one. Scary. What? Okay. I'll show you some prettier ones then. And some cuter, funny ones. How's that? But let me get through the scary ones. Like, look at that. Yeah, they're like ink blots. They are. Psh, psh, what are those called? The, uh, you know. Look, it's like a butterfly in there. See it? So pretty. My son says he can see faces. <laughs> Hi. Look at this. Hello, hello, hello. Yay. Oh my gosh, I thought I was looking at my own rock. <laughs> oh, that good. So good. That looks so good. I'm just showing off these crazy wavy foils. They're so cool. Oh, they look awesome in person, y'all. <laughs> but look Trippy at these whippy. I can't <laughs> we can't use them today necessarily but y'all we've got to do something soon what look at what what can't we hold use? on let me let me pull them out uh oh I know what you're gonna show <laughs> yeah all the fishies yes that's the ones I was saying these are happy foils look at Katie's got the shark and the fishes and the octopus and the Aren't jellyfish and the and the corals and the starfish and they have every fish We've on there. We've got to do like a underwater scene soon. Yeah, I was thinking about doing like a half and half on here, like half ocean, like in the background and putting some of the fish down there. I don't know. So, <laughs> Katie's like, no. <laughs> you want to do everything to this rock. I love this rock. 
I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> so, Katie, did you see what I, I said? I saw in these, the Aztec Bohemians. Oh, Look, yeah. See these right here? Yeah, it matches up. I know. I'm like, too bad I already lined that out because I totally could have redone the ends of this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I could totally change it because I have a handy dandy scraper tool, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, the new one, the new knifey thing. I know. I'm here using my old one and I forgot all about that. I'm like, no, girl, use your new one. <laughs> it's like totally perfection. <laughs> You can get rid of all these little boo-boos. See all this in here? See that? Say bye-bye, boo-boo. Those aren't actually boo-boos, but I'm going to do them in white. So, And Better. gone. See? Ta-da. Too cool. <laughs> I had anyway. smeared mine, so that's why. <laughs> I gotcha. So question, Miss Katie. Are we painting and foiling or just foiling? What do you want to do? Oh, no. I want to do some painting for sure. Cool. Cool beans. I was, I was thinking of doing some maybe sand around here and then maybe doing some watercolor, uh, some water, watercolor mm -hmm. up above here. Oh, fun. I like it. How do we do sand? You um, lead me, girl. <laughs> well, I mean, there's so many options. If, if you're wanting to use your watercolor, you could always use like a gold or. Oh, I've got good. I've got the um, the ochres. Yeah, that would be the way to go. Is the ochres? If I know where I put mine. <laughs> Anybody know where those went? You guys know I'm always, I don't know where nothing is. <laughs> you know, it's not like I prepare for this ever. I'm working on a little <laughs> tiny desk now, so y'all have to bear with me. It takes me a minute to find anything. No problemo. I want to see what this looks like. I'm thinking and this one will wanna... be a pretty one. Oh, yeah. Sand. What is the name of the pack with the fish? What'd you name that? Under the sea. Under the sea, under the sea. There you go, yes. Maida. I sang my first song. <laughs> hey, you know the set that's coming out real soon? Did you take one home, Katie? Which one? The new set that we're working on? Marty's and stuff. Hold on, guys. I just built my beard. Is that beard. a beard? <laughs> oh, Jeremy. I'm sorry. Grab I me don't mean to laugh. Hurry, hurry, hurry. She... Okay. You're okay. Sorry, guys. I'm not sorry. laughing. No worries. Hey, spilling beer just means you're having fun, right? What a disaster. No. It's good. Everything will smell good. Is it pickle beer? You're good. Yeah, it's pickle beer. I don't know how I did that, man. What the heck? It all started foaming. I was like, what? What? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, friend. It's okay. No stress. Yeah, party fell. <laughs> Everything's fine. That's right, Teresa. It's fine. You're fine. We got you. <laughs> Hi. So you know the the four pack we're working on, Katie, with the tropical colors with the blue and the orange and the oh, yellow. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't have that. 
You didn't take home the blue? I thought I sent you home with the blue one, at least just that one. I thought you used it on something. No. Hmm. I'll look, though. Give me just a second. Let me clean this mess okay. up. So sorry, guys. Give me just a minute to clean this up, and I will be right back. Take your okay. time, sister. I don't think it got on the floor. I think I caught it with my hand. Thank you. Okay. So you guys know I've been working on like the earth, earth pigments and we're working on a set. This is, I know they look black, but this is a dark purple, an orange, this is a, you can see it, a turquoise blue. And then there's going to be a yellow. We had one yellow fail, so I'm working on a new yellow color. Whoops, that wasn't supposed to turn over there. Anyway, so I'm going to spray these down and show you guys. That should be out soon. They take a little bit longer to mull, but this color is amazing. Look at that. It is... Ah... Uh, what was the name of this? Ick. I can't remember what where it said it came from. Istanbul. Istanbul. Istanbul turquoise. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? It's an amazing color. It's actually a turquoise. It looks really blue on here, but I think I'm going to do my background, all of that, and then remove like like do it i don't know a sky i don't know i'm not good with the sand stuff but we'll see what happens so there's this purple too it's so pretty It's a really nice purple. These are no shimmer. These are natural pigment. And then look at that. It's so orange, it looks red. It's so gorgeous. Beautiful. They're not in the shop yet. I was thinking about putting them in a singles or a set, but we're working on one more color. I might just pop them in there as singles for you guys because I'm not sure about the yellow yet. What do you think about that, Katie, about popping these in as single colors? Yeah, we could if you want to. Yeah. I think I might do that. They're, they're all ready to go. Yeah, yeah I don't think I have go. the blue. Oh, man. But I have Could've plenty of blues to work blue. with. Okay. All right. So you're thinking sand down here? Yeah. So I'm going to try to use like a golden sandy color. All right. Here we go again. <laughs> So this is a color I'm working on, um, but it's also in, I didn't release it in any size yet. It was in the nine square ups, the very first postcard I did, but um, I haven't made it into a set yet. So it it's, I think it's going to come out either in square ups or in pans. So if you have that nine set that I made, then you have this little color. And it doesn't have a name. Sorry. I'm just using water to kind of move it around a bit.
You're using one from the nine set? Yeah, I think you have that, right? This yeah, one? that one. Yep, that's it. Yeah, it's like a gold with a brown green undertone. But I think it looks pretty good as sand. I think I'm going to add the ochre to mine too. I like the way that looks on yours. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. What ochre was that? The yellowy one? I did a little bit of both actually. Okay. Just because one's a little lighter, lighter and one's a little darker and I just wanted to have some different colors in there. And I'm not really doing a blending kind of thing. Mm -mm. Oops. <laughs> Grab the wrong one. Oh well. So we got we got a dark beach going here. <laughs> you know what the fun thing is about watercolor? The fun and cool thing. You don't have to live with it. Unless it's a real staining color, then then you kind of gotta live with it a little bit. But, but I'm gonna take some of this color out of here with a paper towel in a minute. Anyways. Will you be getting more of the microblade tools? Are they sold out? <sighs> no. Yes, I'll get some more. It takes a while for me to get the stock, but wow, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, we still had some earlier. So I'm going to take my paper towel, and just remove a little bit of my color. I'm kind of digging this right here. Yeah. I'm going to do some blue. Oop, crash. <laughs> yes. Now, which blue are you using? I'm using the Istanbul blue from the set. We're gonna oh, put that's in right. And I don't, I don't have that one. Okay, let's see. What do I want to use? Since I don't have Istanbul, the neon blue is actually really, really good. You would just add like a little bit of green to it, and look how close they are. See there? Yeah. Like in the gouache. And I don't think I'm going to do any painting like on my flamingo except for the legs and the beak area. So I'm not going to be worried too much about getting my color in my bird. Does that make sense? Because mm -hmm. I'm going to be covering it with foil. Yay! Congratulations! <laughs> Jacket Yay, that's awesome. Yay. How exciting. Uh-huh. So is this sky or water? Oh, I yeah, I was going to do like a blue sky and, and do the water kind of, you know, a different color. So, so this is water than sky? Yeah. Is that right? Okay. And I'll probably put in kind of a darker...
How's everyone doing tonight? I think I'm finally through my whole disaster. Thank goodness, huh? That was kind of, that was seriously crazy. Yeah. Let me tell you, sometimes Amazon sucks. <laughs> Aww. Hi, Joan. Oh, Deanie, I was um, making some changes to my room and I was having, they, they sent the wrong bed frame. They sent a king size bed frame instead of a queen size and I had already put it together and didn't realize it. And you know, a smart person would have noticed that it was too big putting it together, but I was so just like, concentrating on putting the bed together i wasn't paying attention to the size and then um i ordered a desk the one that i'm using now and all the pieces weren't in there so i had to exchange that one and it was just one thing after another and just finding someone to come help take the other old bed frame down and oh, it was just, it was craziness, but I'm finally past it. And hopefully that's, it was, it was way more bigger than that, but I, that's all I'm going to bore y'all with. It was really frustrating and anxiety and yes. And, yeah. And I called Wanda almost in tears several times. That's okay. You can call me anytime. Any. I just felt so bad. Like, what do I do? <laughs> Yell at him. I was like, look at my mattress. <laughs> it, it doesn't fit. What do I do? <laughs> it was very overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed all week long. That's why I was telling y'all I was a hot mess. I have earned that beer. Yes. We don't have any ochre left. Oh no. Are you serious? Maybe. No, I'm just asking. I, mm, I don't know. I see three sets over there. So like with my eyes, I'm not sure that we have a few orders on the book. So I don't know oh, what's ordered. Gotcha. Yeah. It feels so good to paint y'all. Man, it's been a minute. Thanks, Pam. I told Wanda today we were looking for a, a rock for me. And I said, <laughs> I have some odd shaped ones at home. I think I have one. And sure enough, this one fit perfect. <laughs> the perfect rock. I'm starting out with this one from the ocean set, the really light blue. Mm, pretty. For the sky, but then I'm going to go in with some other color. That's just what I'm starting out with. That's starting to come together. I'm going to use one of the glitters from my glitter quad that I made a while back. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys remember it had a turquoise glitter, a gold, a white, and a, I don't know, <laughs> it had some stuff in there. I mean, it some had of stuff. Those. Yeah, it has stuff in there. I'm going to use some of this on the waves.
mine looks different than yours obviously i put my stuff in you know the leftovers and pans you guys got it it was in a a crystal a clear compact with four squares in it yeah we get all the little <laughs> extras and <laughs> yeah we get all the tester units <laughs> And if you like these, let me know. I can make these custom. No problemo. Which ones? These, any any of the glitters. They don't cost very much. They're easy. So. See them? And aren't they pretty in the water? Oh, yeah. You can do that if you have Easter. You have uh, two colors in your Easter. You have like a light blue and a white that on anything that white will do like this. If you bought the Easter color set. Ooh, I love it already. Can we just be done? I don't want to mess it up. You ever feel uh, like you're going to go too far on a project and like, oh, yeah, I need to stop now. <laughs> you guys were asking me earlier why ink. This is why I like ink. Like, see if uh, I want it to touch it up or paint. I, the ink does not move once it dries. I mean, acrylic doesn't either, but the ink seems to be more solid and stable. Like, archival, it doesn't fade. Like, over time, watercolors will fade, but the ink won't. So, you still have, like, the outline of your art. You know, you can... So, it just turns into something different over time, right? <laughs> yep. Are you going to have your metallic watercolor eight mini postcard again? Um, that's a possibility. I still have a lot of the bottle caps. So if when those are gone, I can make another set. So it's kind of like demand, you know, if the other sells, then I can make the postcards too. Hope that made sense. <laughs> yeah, Pam, me too. <laughs> this ding, ding, what are these called? Flamingos? You know, when I posted it, I'm like, uh, yeah, just touch the picture if you want to see the head. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so funny. It's hard getting the whole bird in the shot without... I got to zoom in, so. <laughs> well, come on, bird. <laughs> you know, I might put some color down. I don't know. I don't know that it'll make a difference, though, because my, the um, foils are opaque, so. You well, were going to do kind... all. Yeah. You were going to do all foil, though. right? Yeah. They're a little bit see-through, though, so I might do just a pink, just a pink base. Yeah. Because. They, you can see through them just a bit. So I think I'm going to do a pink base. That way they just have something behind them, you know. And this is the neon gouache magenta in the tube. And that is out of stock. But Katie and I discussed it and we're going to do it again. Because it's too beautiful not to just have in the store. I got to grab a paint. I'll be right back. Sure.
It's snowing. No. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't like that it's already hot and humid here. And I'm going to have to get a way better dehumidifier because our paint is melting. <laughs> I'm literally, yeah. it's melting. It's so bad, humid. Like paint that I've had solid, solidified and dried for months just went kapooey. Not that we lost it. We just have to dry it again, dehumidify it. It's like a cigar factory in here, you guys. It's technical stuff making paint, I'm telling you. <laughs> Who'd have thought I needed to be an alchemist, right? Ooh, I missed a blue. See that? I missed a spot. So did you. <laughs> huh? I said, I missed a spot, and so did you. I did? Yep. I'll show you. It's just a little one. Maybe you painted your sky down there. I don't know. Right here. Look at this. Oh, that, it's supposed to be the... That sneaky little spot? Yeah, it's between the neck and the body. <laughs> How dare it sneak in there, right? Too funny. Thanks, Jennifer. Let's see who's with us. We got lots. Hello. Connie's in Montana. It's snowing. What? Oh, Katie missed two spots. What? Oh, Katie, what have you? <laughs> well, we get good, Kate. She spilled her beer, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, give you some breaks. I, give you a, I give you a pass. Right here, baby. Cut me some breaks. <laughs> She just, it's all neck, okay? That's all. She'll figure it out. <laughs> I love the water, what you're doing, the foam on the water. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Now I got to do foam. <laughs> you know, it was the foam from your beer. It gave you inspiration, right? Oh, yeah. I No, I, I just love doing the foam. That's just something I've always had fun doing. So how do you do it? What are you doing there? I just got a, a fluffy brush and with a, a dry brush and just got some white acrylic and I just dabbed it. Dab, dab, dab. Yep. Okay, I'm looking for a fluffy. You know what? This is where I'm going to go overboard. <laughs> I can feel it coming on, guys. <laughs> no, don't. No, just dab, dab, lightly dab. tap and... Like, as if it's just, like, little waves of splash, like, over. See how you have some waves going? Yeah. Do it on the, do it, like, as if the wave is coming down and splashing. Oh, okay. So, like. It's not even showing up. <laughs> Not in this thread. They get posted in the event. Mm-hmm. I know this sounds like this is the event, but the event is where we schedule this live. So if yeah. you are if you are in the main pit group, okay, when you first come into the group, there are some options at the top of the page there. You know, like it says you and then some other things, and it says, I don't know, features, topics 
albums events click on that events button and then there you can scroll around and see what event you want to be posting your in, on, entry not your entree your entry <laughs> in if you want to post it you know if you have whatever event you were working doing it for post it in that event I don't think Seafoam likes me. Well, my brush is quite fluffier. It's fatter. Yours is a oh, little sparse. Oh, I see. <laughs> and light touch, light touch. You're going way too heavy. It was a light touch. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Light touch is like barely touching, like just stippling, barely touching the rock. Okay. We will work on this, Miss Wanda. All right, I'm done with that. I'm done. <laughs> I don't like that. I mean, don't like it. Mm -mm. No. I'm going back to my watercolor. <laughs> yes, Jennifer, that's a good idea. A tiny piece of sponge. Yeah, I had a sponge, and it kept falling. Pieces were falling off of it, and I, I just did not like it at all. So I didn't have a good experience with that sea sponge. But um, it might have been a cheapie, so. Oh. How long do they have to um, work on their flamingo? When are you going to do the drawing? Um, Monday night is the cutoff. Tuesday is the drawing. So or we, you guys, whenever I get a chance. Yeah. But Monday is the cutoff. So you got the weekend. All righty. I haven't decided either what I want to do. For sure on this. I will be touching up my black, just so you know. <laughs> uh, Lori is asking if you used acrylic for the foam. I believe she said that was acrylic. Yes, yes. I did. Only because it was close by and I didn't want to try to dig my gouache out. You're so good. Oh, the cutoff for the sticker challenge has already happened. I haven't done the drawing yet, though. The What was the last sticker challenge? Over the moon. Yeah. I'm looking at foil, so bear with me. trying to decide what I want to use. I'm doing some touch-ups before I start with the foil. Yeah, that's cool.
Oh, Bex, please do post it. Post it in the main feed, absolutely. Don't forget, if you guys are entering where to post it, put it in the events comments. I know we just talked about it, but other people are just logging on, so. Okay, now at least I can see my lines again. <laughs> I'll touch up the black when I'm done with my foil. So, flamingo legs are black and white, right? Looks like these legs are black and white speckled. Cool. I like where you're going with that. Yeah, I just kind of <laughs> like, uh, I saw another picture that did the legs like that. And I was like, I like that. I'm going to do that with my <laughs> legs. So in these foils, the Aztec, they have it. Um, hang on. One, two, three, four. There's five sets in the set in the 10 rolls. So each set is like two cut. So it's one color category, two styles. So this is like a purple pink. And then you have like a pink yellow. And then a pink and green or yellow green with pink. They're similar. I mean, the styles are the same, but the colors are different. Does that make sense? So like this blue one has orange and like this one has purple. So this is a set, this is a set. So you just have a little bit of different things to work with there. They're all kind of the same color scheme, but a tad different. So I'm gonna go with this purple pink, I think, or should I do? <laughs> Which one do you think I should do, Katie? This one or this one? Probably this one, huh? Probably, yeah. Yeah, the, okay. the darker or brighter. It, yeah. I think the reason, I don't know. Where is the pink? pink, 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 pink. Or I could go with this one. See, it's got pink tail feathers. No, I think I will do this one. And this one. So up by the neck on the original artwork. Come back here. Holy moly, the static on these is like something else. So, can you see this design in here? Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Um, yeah. Zigzags. So, see the zigzags? Yeah. <laughs> see all this fun business in here? Yes, we're going to work with that. Yes, yes, yes. So, I'm going to see if I can work these in here anywhere. Of course, I want to do these too. All right, I'm going to get some gloves on. It 
it is time. When you order Shelly's Rocks, do you get an email when they arrive? If you're signed up with the the post office to get alerts, you will. Oh wait, that's text message. <laughs> uh, they have email. It's it's called informed delivery. Yeah, okay. And yeah, I have that. I need to sign up for that. Oh yeah, it gives you pictures of what's coming. So I'm gonna use Savvy Land nail art foil glue today. And this comes in a kit. It has the glue, some foil, and I think a silicone tip nail tool, something like that. And I may have to jump up and get some batteries here because I think my light is low, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna start here. And have your torch handy so you can get rid of your bubbles and it warms up your glue once it's on your rock. Yes, you can put foil straight down on a Santorini rock without paint. Absolutely. Make sure your Santorini is clean and dry, though. Because I've sanded before and then foiled and it will just kind of peel off because of the dusty sand on it, you know, just make sure it's dry. Yeah, and, some, I have a bad habit of grabbing a Santorini and just wiping it down. You'd actually need to wash it if you're going to foil it. Yeah. Um, Jennifer, good question. You should you should seal the water col color, yes, before putting foil on it. Yep. Because it can peel up. I'm sorry, we should have said that. Definitely give it a spray with your 2X, uh, Rust-Oleum 2X matte, or as Katie would say, two times matte. Two times matte. <laughs> yep. We'll see. If this doesn't work, I'll have to go give it a spray. But I wasn't positive I'm done painting, so. <laughs> the thing with spray, guys, is it's, ne it's never a bad idea to spray. Unless you're wanting to paint on top of it with watercolor. Most sprays make your rock waterproof. So watercolor likes to beat up on it, but I make mine really opaque, most of them. So mine, you can paint on top of the spray if you use it in a less diluted form. Like the gouache, you can paint straight on top of that watercolor, no problem. I mean, on top of the spray. <laughs> Goodness. I totally knew what you meant. <laughs> you guys speak my language now, right? Goodness, between 
I'm sure if you guys have been texting with me, you notice that I have a problem with the letter G. <laughs> it interferes. Little G it just is a bad influence on my life, on my key, on my texting. The little G takes over. <laughs> little G. A little G. <laughs> Meanie. Taking up residence in my phone. Let's see if I can do this. I cut this one like this so that I can reduce reduce the risk of messing it up here. Now if I can find some tweezers. <laughs> tweezers are a big help when you're working with a small spot. <laughs> oh, darn. I did that thing that I should have told you not to do. Okay. On the edges of our foils, can you see this clear area here? See that clear strip there at the edge with no pattern in it? Yeah. That, that's still part of the foil. So if you do like I did right here, see this area right here? This little square, little section right here. That is now foiled with clear. So it's just that. I think it is anyways. I think it pulled it off. Um, anyways, you would need to put down some more glue. I might be able to get away with it. Yeah, little. Um, you need to put down more glue and cover it up. Or cut your foils before you use them. Cut off that clear strip so that it doesn't interfere in your foiling. Not that I'm using this one again, I'm just an example, okay? All right, let's see there, what we got? Hey, what's going on there? So you can use a silicone tip tool to put down the edges here, a Q-tip, your finger, something pointy is better. You don't want to dig at it, but that way you can get all of the areas. This is going to be an interesting bird. <laughs> all right, next area. Beautiful, Katie. Thank you. You're welcome. And I think I'm going to go over that first one again, even with another foil. I don't particularly like the way it came out. And you can double foil. If you don't like the first one, do it again. You don't have to live with it. Or pull it off with your new scrapey tool. <laughs> <laughs> I have done that. <laughs> More times than y'all can even imagine. Ooh, Deborah, that would be beautiful. Deborah has a blue veined calcite rock that she might make the flamingo on. How pretty. Awesome. Blink Master Lori. Hey, I like that. <laughs> That's probably even better than me calling her the Link Queen. <laughs> yes. Blink it, Queen. <laughs>
right i'm gonna put this one in here um I'm cutting out a little section that I want to use. And then I'm going to use this one on the end. So it's going to be like this. Oh, that sounds fun, Lori. Gonna go rock hunting in Michigan. Ooh. Yes, this is black. That's black? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks, um... Well, it's gluey right now. Yeah. Y'all know me and my extreme glitter. <laughs> yeah. It's black, glitterific. It's one of my favorites. In fact, um, I have a couple of backups now, thanks to Wanda. Because I go through this stuff. I'm a texture girl. I like texture. I'm having to add more light because my rock is cold. Okay. I'll be relining. There's real thick, dark lines, so it doesn't really matter. These edges, they're going to be all black. So I'm not real worried about those. It's just these big sections in the middle that I'm worried about. I was doing a magic trick, y'all, flipping my brush around. <laughs> Isn't it weird how you're just painting and all of a sudden the brush flips in a circle? It's like, yeah. oh, what are you doing? my poor hands. <laughs> I know my thumbs are like numb. It's just like something twitches in your hand or something and there goes your brush. <laughs> As it's drying, you can see it really um, adds some pizzazz to it. That's why I love it. Yes, I had a jumper. <laughs> Oh, Debbie, I'm sorry. I've been having the outer part of my upper thighs go numb a lot from fibro. See, I get numbness from my, because my back, um, I have just degenerative disc disease. And mm. so it's like my discs are pretty much just going away and mashing on nerves and it just causes me pain and numbness and tingling and 
my hands fall asleep all the time. Oh, friend, I'm sorry. Well, I'm not complaining. I mean, things could be way worse, so. Oh. <clears throat> I can't make up my mind what I want to use right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. March potatoes. Ha ha ha. Okay, I'm going to use this other one. Bambi. Just go for it here. I just saw Bambi pop on. Uh, I grabbed the wrong part. Darn it. Okay, wherever you lay down your foil is where it's going to live. This is the worst foil job, guys. Where'd it go? There it is. Phew. That's not where I wanted it, but that's where it's going to go. <laughs> Too funny. See what happens when you don't foil for a while? <laughs> <laughs> it's a mess out here. <laughs> Let's see. This one there. So this is champagne extreme glitter. I like to put it in my sand because it makes it look sandy and glittery and sparkly. Oh, bird. Okay, my flamingo has seen better days. Maybe we'll put some Area 51 on top of it, or Zen. <laughs> we'll triple foil this one. In the event, Jan, in the comments, there's a whole bunch of different um, flamingos I posted in there. Or you can go to the Albums tab. And all the way at the bottom are the flamingos. Oh, Fizz Phyllis, you need more than that. We need to take care of that. She only has the champagne and the hologram and the extreme glitter. Well, Wanda doesn't really either, but I'm the extreme glitter person in the family. <laughs> I just make mine. You don't need to buy it. Make it. No, it just doesn't work the same as my extreme glitter. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer. Sorry, I, I didn't mean it. Uh huh. I'll remember that tomorrow. Whatever. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Yeah, I love them too. And if you keep them cleaned out, unlike me, they're not so bad. Oh, there's pink, there's magenta, there's emerald, there's fuchsia, there's yellow, orange. There's a, a shit ton. <laughs> How much is that exactly? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. And Miss Joanne likes to use the other stuff. What is it called? 
I don't know. She's not on tonight, because I have it. I just gotta find it. Glamour Dust. Oh. This is Deco Art's version. That's looking oh, no. really awesome, Wanda. I don't believe you. But thank you. Oh, from here it looks awesome. It I'll looks like it. actual feathers. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's what I was going for. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I thank you is what I meant. I'm having difficulties. <laughs> that's because you probably should have sprayed it. I know. Lori, Dragonfly Glaze is awesome, and you should try it in your resin if you resin. Just a little drop of it in your resin does a beautiful suspended glitter without it being too chunky. Okay. So what are you going to do over there? Are you doing the legs? Uh I'm still deciding doing the legs. Okay. Oh, with the glue. I guess I can with I the glue. I, did, I was just wondering. I still got to do my legs. I'm going to do my beak something different because I don't want it to all look the same. Mm hmm. You should, Deborah. It's a whole new experience. But don't use too much. I swear, a little drop will go a long <laughs> way. A little dabble do ya. Yep. I need a smaller brush. I'm going to whip out my unicorn brush. Mm. I'm, my, I'm, I'm lying. My mermaid brush. <laughs> I get them confused. <laughs> Wanda, do you have a, a video that shows the whole tracing process, like resizing and all that stuff? Karen Kylie's asking. Not resizing, no. You Do you have to do that with your printer? And there's so many different printers out there. Or your phone. Or your computer. And I can't possibly cover all that. So I can provide the traceable. But I can't really walk you through that process. I can tell you, you can uh, screenshot it or download it to your phone or your computer. Our image. It's either the image or traceable. We trace the image most of the time. So that is what I would consider a traceable. So, so for tonight, this was my traceable and I printed it out this size. Okay. And then I used my own printer, turned it over and the cop, I cop, it's a copy, but a shrunken copy. So I put it at 50% and then I had to go back up. This is 60% the size of this one. So that's how I got that. You you find that by hitting the settings button on your printer. And then in there, it'll say, give you some options like to custom size things or for custom settings. It's usually under custom, under sizing. And you want to go down to 60%. That That's for that one. That's really big. 60% is pretty big. This is a pretty big rock. Usually we're 50%. Uh, or less, but depends on the size of your rock, you know. Yeah, but there's multiple of... apps and things that you can use to to do it, but Wanda's is so easy because she can just use her printer. My printer is more difficult to do that. You have to do it in a program, and I don't it no. <laughs> I'm just like wanting to print me out a picture, please. 
I'm spoiled, y'all. I don't think so. I'm the spoiled one. Wanda she comes in and me. packs orders. <laughs> I love packing orders. Well, I do too. I just can't keep up with it. <laughs> and I like I like making plans. You can ask her today. I was trying to figure out how to get something to pop this? out of the bag. <laughs> It was so funny. We're like, we're making plans, y'all. So if you get a snake pop out of your bag, it's her fault. <laughs> not a real one. Not a real one. Don't worry. But, you know, if you get one of those boing, 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 toys. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Just for you. You can um, Google how to resize on your printer, put in your printer, and YouTube has thousands, bazillions of tutorials on how to do it on your own style of printer. Hey, and that goes for everything, y'all. That's how I was able to put together my bed frame because those directions they give you are ridiculous. So... Anything that you get that has instructions, go to YouTube and you'll get a video. Yeah. Just for future info. I'm a kind of got to see it first person. You know, I'm a hands-on usually too, but since COVID hit, I've had to be like a learn it from YouTube kind of thing. And uh, I've actually been doing okay with it. I'm surprised. It's like, oh, I can learn, you know? So don't poo-poo it, you guys. We're smart. We can do it, huh? Right? Right. <laughs> Say, we got this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Connie said, yeah, well, I had a renter that Googled how to install a front door, and he hung it upside down with the handle way up high. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess you do have to have some sense, I guess. <laughs> I would do that. <laughs> I but, would do that. You know, when I put my frame together, I did put a piece backwards and have to undo it and go back. So it's real easy to do, especially with the directions they give you. I would totally do that. Oh, I'm going to do that in the legs. See that? See this right here? Dong, dong, dong. <laughs> so Nita, she's going to need my address for her therapy bill if anything jumps out of her package. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, I put the last on the legs, so on the beak, I did my iridescent black, uh, fancy black in Arteza iridescent, just so that it's just a little bit different from That's beautiful. the extreme glitter. Okay, that's pretty dry. I can go on to foil. Sorry, guys. Does anyone have some fun plans tomorrow? So what's tomorrow? Saturday. <laughs> okay, I got you. I was like, is it a party? Somebody's birthday? What's going on? <laughs> I'm going to my friend's house. Yay! Oh, what are we having for dinner? I don't know. I was thinking maybe throwing something on the grill or something. I don't know. Oh, what do you think? It. Yes. That's always happening. What is going on here, y'all? My foiling capabilities have... There we go. Okay. You know, 
I told you in the beginning, I think I need to change my batteries. I'll bet you I need to change my you batteries. Should have just change them, man. <laughs> I know. Okay. Doing some open houses. So y'all are looking for a house? Mm. Sounds like they might be agents. Maybe? I don't know. Secret agent man. <laughs> Teresa is asking if you could please quickly go over the steps of foiling. Okay. Step one, watch the tutorial. Call, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I will tell you, but I do very much so recommend going to my YouTube channel and watching um, rock foiling um, for beginners and brush up tips it's the little fox video um i can link that lori can link it but the steps are basically you need to have a warm uh rock or a warm glue when i say warm they need to be about human temperature 98.6 is what you're looking for so that's quite a bit warm right so anything cooler than that you're going to have trouble like this because these things were created to work on your fingernails, which are warm. Um, and then the steps are apply the glue, pop the bubbles, cure the glue. Like I did, you want to make sure the glue is tacky and not sticky, like mine is. Make sure you have the brush. Make sure your batteries are good and your light. <laughs> um, cure it for 30 seconds about. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer or a little bit less. Apply your foil. Then slowly pull up so you, in case you missed any parts, you can go back and repress. But bam, ski. And if you're Katie, it works on your first try. <laughs> <laughs> she was born a genius. Okay, no. I gotta get some batteries. Hold on. I did leave one little piece, but I went back and put it back where it was supposed to be, and I got it. Okay. To change the batteries out in your light, <laughs> you do like this. You undo the end here. The little case comes out. The housing unit for the batteries and then don't on um, okay not on the spring side on the other side you want to pull out and then like so a lot of people can do this with their fingers but i'm not one of them so and then put your new ones back in The flat side goes to the spring. The button side goes to the other end, obviously. And then put that back. Oop, I don't remember which side goes in. The Not that side. side. 
Thank you. Flat side, see the one with the dip, the dimple in it? Is the side you want up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. See how much brighter this is? See that? Yeah, my batteries were like on fumes. This is this mess is all my fault for not having my batteries in there. Your batteries will go fast, but this tw this little flashlight is worth it, you guys. It takes all of the hassle out of foiling with the big light. You know, the big light will buckle and bubble and do all kinds of crazy stuff to your foil. <laughs> you know, I, I used to do rechargeable batteries, but I'm <laughs> too lazy even to recharge the dang things. But I need to because it's it's actually very ridiculous of me to use batteries. But I don't actually foil a whole ton, you know. I used to. All right, so about 30 seconds. Yes, thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> PPE, you guys really need to watch the tutorial. I wasn't prepared tonight, I'm sorry. Um, in the beginning of the year, we start off with um, uber uber beginners so we start off doing explaining everything and then we go on to um kind of commentary having fun and joking around but so that's why i always have the beginner tutorials available in the guides and in my uh, youtube so you guys can and they're very detailed very thought out very um a to z so please forgive me i'm not good on the spot. <laughs> well, do y'all remember how to foil? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, we're we're making paint. But we still love foil, especially the new ones, which I'm using and I love. What ones are you using? The new ones. Okay. You're me. <laughs> Yay, it's beautiful. Oh, I told them earlier when I was live that you were going to do this really awesome, awesome next Friday tutorial. And it's going to have like the fun hippie days foil in it that you're using tonight. Yay. Yep. Sorry, I don't think I was supposed to use this foil yet. That's okay. <laughs> I couldn't I just it. looked through it and saw this one and was like, ooh, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, it's hard not to. That's why I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to find five things to foil just this weekend. <laughs> See how cool that made the legs? Look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, now for that neck. Yahoo! And that's the zigzag. We're going to do the zigzag. This comes off really good, too. It does. I That other one, I love those, those super um, holographic foils. They're just like a dream. These wouldn't be so difficult either if I was doing things right. So. 
but I think this is all me messing up over here. Now you got to follow it up with a compliment to yourself. Uh, you know, because I'm just, what, what do I say? <laughs> oh, you know, I don't know. Cause I'm blue, blue, blonde, 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 blue, blue. <laughs> you know that song? No. You don't know the blue song? No. What? All right. We have to find the blue song. It's like a, they did a dance challenge on it on TikTok forever. Blue, 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 the blue. <laughs> Um, we oh, are using. We must middle. have a newbie here. This is Savvy Land Nail Art Foil Glue that I'm using tonight. Katie, what are you using? I'm using my favorite, Verano. <laughs> you need but to make I do sure have it's Savvy Land, and it does work good. You need to make sure that your glue says Nail Foil Glue. And it can't just be any glue. It has to be UV glue. So if it it looks white, not that the bottle's white, but if the glue itself looks white, that's not the right glue. That's basically, that glue is like Tacket or Elmer's, you know, the really sticky kind. Which mm -hmm. if you want to make a tumbler, that would be what you use. Yeah. So Tacket. I think I'm going to use this right here. Ah, sorry. Deb Cowan is new. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome to your new obsession. And then we'll use this one over here on this side going this way. All right. These little brushes I'm using are disposable eyeliner brushes. And I highly recommend them for using, for applying this glue. Uh, they're, they have a point on them. You can do precision work uh, and they're disposable and you don't want to be messing with this glue. Part of the PPE, you want to wear your gloves. Um, don't look at mask. me. <laughs> you want to wear a mask, um, preferably a full respirator because this is resin that you're working with. Now, next Friday night is gonna be more of an advanced video, just a warning. So, um, if you're new, don't don't get overwhelmed because it's, it's gonna be a lot and it's probably gonna be a long night, y'all. So, y'all better get the popcorn ready. <laughs> It might actually be a two weekend thing. I was looking at it. That's true. It's, it's like more than the lady, the hair lady. What did I call her? I don't even remember that. You remember the lady with all the waves, wavy hair? Oh my God, that was awesome. I loved her so much. A lot of you did her too. Like 500 foils in the hair. You remember? I think that's one that I gave up on too. Why? Because I sucked at it. No, you did not. Just like that shoe. Nope. You didn't suck at either one. So I on the shoe one, I painted the other side. <laughs> and it's much prettier. The other side of the rock? Yeah. <laughs> Katie. Well, at least you didn't quit.
Yay, that's better. All right, Flamingo, you and me. <laughs> All right, yes, there will be a workshop this Wednesday. Touch-ups and details. Yeah, what are we doing? Um, don't know yet, I don't think. I think we're going to do the first one. Oh, from the new book? In the book. Yeah. All right, I'm going to rewind some things and then some embellishments. That's okay, Pam. I will get the the info posted way early um, this weekend. I'll try to not do it last minute. I've got to change brushes here. But the cool thing about it, it's really cool if you don't have the book. It's all about like working on your art and also working on yourself. And that's what really um, excited me about it. Because we could all use some self love. Yes. I'm guilty. You've been guilty tonight, actually. Sorry. Ah. This glare. I'm going to have to go to a new piece. That's not it. What did we miss? Did you miss we miss a faux pas, a funny faux pas? Uh-oh. <laughs> Jen, I just got it. I'm sorry. So Jennifer says, I always feel so much better after I art in some way. 
Oh. <laughs> good. Me too. I always feel better after a good art. <laughs> I ha I didn't get to for a whole week, so. <laughs> art, that is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm 12. <laughs> Mm, you arted. I have a shirt that says I arted. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's, oh, it's so funny. <laughs> uh, and guess what? We all arted together. <laughs> Those who art together stay together. Right? Yep. <laughs> One big arty family. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh gosh, I'm so off camera. You guys, I suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stay something. <laughs> they usually do. Are y'all sleeping on us? That's okay. Are we that boring? Yes. I am. Not you. There I go again. Disrespect. Don't do that. Where is my laser? Beep, beep. Uh -huh. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> Yeah, I asked Wanda what we're doing on Star Wars Day, and she was like, what's that? And I was like, may the fourth be with you? She had no <laughs> idea. Hey, now. Be nice. But I know what Cinco de Mayo is, and I'm so, so down for that. <laughs> Will that be a day that I'll be over there? I, I don't know. I would be if I were you. There's going to be some food to happen in here. <laughs> Some carnitas and whatever happens to happen. Some guacamole. Mm -hmm. Some queso fresco. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm hungry. I would spray first so you don't clog your pin. But that's just me. Some people don't like to spray and don't want to listen to me, but. Well, some people can't spray either. And I get that. I do understand if you have lung issues and stuff like that that you can't spray. I totally get that. There's no link for the cactus pins. We send the cactus pins out. Cactus pin. <laughs> Those are fun. And they line so good. Oops. My shaky hands. Goodness. My flamingo's got growths. <laughs> we match.
Oh Mr. yay, Luz was excited about her cactus spin. Yay. Don't go buying them, guys, because, well, I guess you can if you don't order. I'm not asking you to make an order either. I'm just saying we've been sending them out pretty regularly, so. Trying to, if they Bye, fit Kathleen. in the package. Peace and love. And pickle beer. Yes. If they fit in the package, Debbie, and if we're not out, we'd love to send you one. I try to keep them in stock, but sometimes the manufacturer doesn't always have them in stock, so I reorder, but there's that. I'm going to touch up the eyes. Bonita's asking, the glittering blue in my water, do I make other colors too? I do. Um, let's see. I have turquoise, blue, purple, gold, holographic, white holographic, lavender holographic, orange, pretty much any color you could think of. I've got magenta, pink, purple, lime green, dark green every kind of blue you can imagine <laughs> all right i needed that to dry so i could do some thought work here And just to let you know, this this um, neon gouache goes a long ways. Like, I even put out too much. And that was just a little dot. So, it goes a long way.
Joanne, where have you been? I've been talking about you. <laughs> Black jelly beans. That's the ones that I throw away. What? Will you be selling the amazing glitter set you made in the Q&A? <laughs> um, I don't think so because I can't afford that pigment. That's why I made it like that to show you guys that you can make it. Um, those pigments are super duper expensive. Those little fine micro fine holographic pigments. Um, you can pick up that set and add a little bit of gum arabic and water to it and stir it up and you've got it yourself. Um, those were, do I have it? Oh, I do. I have it right here. <laughs> How about that. That's the Let's, Let's Resin Holographic Powder 3 bottle kit. I think these are under $20 for all three. But to buy these in bulk for me to make it would cost me thousands of dollars and I don't have that. So a few pigments are off limits to me because I don't have a good wholesale connection for those pigments. That's the super duper shifters that I make. And I can make those colors, you guys, if you want them in the little tiny, tiny I don't even know how many I could make, maybe two or three at a time set. I can do custom orders of those, no problem. You have to prepay and then I can make them for you. There, we'll do that. <laughs> How's that? Like Sorry. those tiny? <laughs> like those teeny tiny ones, yeah. <clears throat> That's about, those pots only make about two of those. Look, I'll show you them dried, you guys. They just dried. They're still a little, they're not ready, but let me show you. <laughs> this is them dry. See, they're like empty. See the bottom right there? That's how much there's not in there. <laughs> it just coats the sides. That's it. Yeah, it really so, is a very small amount. It's it's what they say it's one gram, but I don't believe them. I think that they don't even give you the whole gram, but it's really silly. And they are so expensive that I just don't feel like it's worth it. I mean, if you you could buy these yourself, and these will last you a long time. So that I would do that if I were you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, those little bitty guys are uh, one sixteenth pants. I'm just doing some details with my gel pen. Good night, Gail. Have a good weekend. Nighty night. Oh, thanks, Phyllis. Yeah, this came out pretty cute. I'm pretty happy with it. It's gorgeous. I love those foils that you picked. Are you waiting for me to be done? <laughs> no. No, I was still trying to decide if I was done. I just feel like there's, it's too dark. You know what I mean? I need to do something. Good with night, the... Karen. So, I'm still working on Outlander. Yay! Um, 
I'm on. I'm in in the middle of season two. And Wanda think? hears all my complaining. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I mean, you know, it's pretty. It's a pretty disturbing saga, but it's so worth it. I mean, that love story is just great. On the high granulated glitter only, no pigment, is it best to use them on top of watercolor that has been sprayed? High granulated glitter? It's the chunky glitter. Like, not oh, chunky, but the heavy, heavier than this. You know what I mean? It's not sheer. So, yeah. yes because you they they will move your paint around so definitely spray first and then add it on top yeah Good if question. you noticed when i was putting the pink in on my my uh what the heck is this thing flamingo um i was adding some white acrylic to it and that was so that i could go in later and add my foil and add my um glamour dust to it so it wouldn't move it around that's exactly why I did that, and I didn't tell y'all. Shame for shame. But that was so I didn't have to spray it. And I just didn't and see what happens. It worked out, but it didn't have to be that difficult. You like taking the hard road. <laughs> Apparently, I like Dottie Flamingos. <laughs> okay, her name's Dottie, my flamingo. You're making me want to make dots now. Do some dots. They're healthy. Good for you. Dottalism is healthy meditation. Oh, I know. I love doing my mandala rocks. Get your dots on, people. Ooh-wee. I'm not good at dots, but I don't care. I like dots. Good night, Teresa. Night, Dottie night. the Flamingo. Mm -hmm. Dotty, Dotty. All right, we got our dots on. Phyllis, you are quite, look at all the glitter on my fingers. Isn't that pretty? Don't you just love that? <laughs> Phyllis, you're, you're quite a daughter too. Very talented. You daughters, you professional daughters, just, you amaze me. Like I, I am not that. So, uh, let's see. I'm using the Signo Uniball Broad in white. Katie's using Signo Angelic. Angelic, yep. Angelic. Sorry, it's blurry. What is going on here? There. A oh, wobble, wobble, wobble. Oi, I'm oh, sorry. So I think I like it, you know? What do you guys think? Yeah, I think it's awesome. It's very kind of like aboriginal sort of. What do you think? Yeah. We used to have some aborigine art in the hallway from Outback Steakhouse. We had a whole bunch of their artwork come into our possession. My husband used to build them. But anyways, uh, those big, long, oh, what are those things called that they 
the horns they use, the big long oh obo I can't remember what they're called. You guys know what they are? Anyways, they make the most beautiful artwork on them and the boomerang. Oh, I need a sun. You are right. We need a sun. Small sun. My sun's behind the clouds. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> It's not my specialty. Hmm. I think I'm just going to put them on the body. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. A didgeridoo? Yes, it's a didgeridoo. Thank you. Deborah Hackman. It was Good all Deborah job. Hackman. Good job. Thank you. Thank so you. Thank Deborah. you. Get busy. It's not your birthday. birthday. <laughs> I'm a dork, but y'all know that already. <laughs> All right, I had to do it. I had to do it. Did you spray your rock first, Phyllis? Oh, Tonita got it first. Tonita. Get busy. It's not your birthday. <laughs> you win another song. <laughs> it's too funny. Oh, my booty be hurting in this chair. I need a, a cushion. <laughs> Oh, some cats outside fighting. I'm gonna have to go out with the broom. Uh oh. Well, I don't, Joanne. All my cushions in the front. It's not in the back. I'm. I got that flat butt going. So there is no <laughs> cushion back there. It's like straight on tailbone on the chair. I haven't seen my rear for so long. I have no idea what it looks like back there. <laughs> Let me show y'all what I have in my possession. Are y'all ready I to see this? I thought you were going to show us your butt. <laughs> yeah, right. There's <laughs> nothing there to look at. She says, let me show y'all. I'm like, oh, wow. No, I said work? I want to show y'all what I have in my possession. <laughs> Oh, she stole it. Look at that. It looks so pretty. See, I'm proud of that. I you gotta turn the to wand the house, fairy house. She didn't even ask, girl. She stole it. She just thought I walked in here and took it. <laughs> I'm so happy though. Thank you. That makes me so feel so good. <laughs> I do have a donut pillow, but you know, it, it's not a comfortable donut pillow. I don't know if it's what I did, what I got wrong, but it's not comfortable. I have a donut. Oh, a <laughs> McDonald's one. How do you know? I, re <laughs> I recognize that from anywhere. <laughs> the kids have McDonald's for dinner, so... I got a donut. I love those little <laughs> pull apart donuts. Mm hmm. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I know, you guys, I always have some stupid, ridiculous thing sitting here to eat. I have to maintain this girly figure somehow. When I say girly, I mean big, big girly figure. <laughs> that curvy figure. Mm <laughs> hmm. Yep. Try letting some of the air out. What are they talking about? Um, no, we already arted. Thank you. <laughs> We've arted enough today. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
I'm removing. Oh, I gotta show y'all what Lonnie. What I got oh. from Lonnie. Yeah, that's right. You gotta show, 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 show. And I'll show mine again, too. Lonnie, look. These are. I think she's already gone. Oh, she always misses it, but Lonnie is the Wishing Stone Designs. Look at that cute seahorse over there. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and yes, see what Katie's doing with her hand? Look. <laughs> they are, they have the, what's that called? Dang it. It's the, um, the, stuff. the, mood, the mood changing paint on them. See it? These are her bug me's. And they are so precious. I love it. My little seahorse. And I have my little, uh, this is what I use as my, um, cup coaster. This is from Jackie, right? Yes. Jackie Anderson. Oh, no. <laughs> hang on. Here's the solar color dust dilly whopper. Ah, my first dilly whopper tonight. Ooh, sorry. This is Jackie Anderson, and it's Jackie's Poor Choices. I love that name, Jackie. Cutie patootie. So Jackie made the um, custom, yeah. This, she made these. Oh, my other favorite one. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous this pendants. my mushrooms. Yes, I love those coasters. And then I ordered some from her, which I gave as a gift, so I don't have them. But I have something else I'm going to show you guys. Oh, my gosh. You have to see this. It is a custom-made Janice Joplin. Oh, my gosh. Vinyl record. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> it's big. Look at this. I mean, it's not Janice Joplin. I'm getting Gemma. This one's Juice Newton. I'm sorry. She's working on a Janice for me. But look. <sighs> right? Come on. Tell me that's not the coolest pour on a it's vinyl. Awesome. I've never seen. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I had to have that. Thank you so much. This is so beautiful. Look at that perfect resin. These are the ones that will change. They're the mood pins or whatever. Yes. So, guys, remember, if you have a business that is art-related, send us your card. You don't have to give us anything. Just send us your card, and we will show you off. If you have something you want us to show, obviously send that. If you want it back, we can send it back, or we can forward it as a gift to someone, whatever you like. But it's more about sharing the love and getting your name out there. Okay? Okay. And I can do a shout out too if you want me to do a shout out on um, a page that you have or an Etsy or anything like that. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. That's what I meant. <laughs> Get your stuff to Katie and she'll make a post with your stuff to give you a big, big shout out on the group. But then we'll, we'll also. Be on live too. We don't mind. Yes, that's what I meant. Yeah. We'll, we'll also add you here on live. Thank we you guys. Will... Don't you have a video on the mood pins? Um, several, actually. I 
just don't know what they're right off the top of my head. I can't remember the name of them. <laughs> one of them was a of one of the lizard thingies. Yeah. A uh, million or whatever. Oh yeah, I think it was Moody. Yeah, it was the Moody lizard. Actually. Yep. Under it's on my YouTube channel and in the guides. It's um man, that was a fun tutorial too. That was before we did Friday Night Live. Yeah. Do you have anything else? Any um, announcements? I don't, or I don't think so. I'll get to the sticker drawing as soon as possible. I definitely will get it done this weekend. Um, I'll post, I'll also get the workshop for Wednesday posted. And... Yay. We're going to go ahead and post Friday, too, um, just to confuse y'all. No. Um, we're going to go <laughs> ahead and post Friday also this weekend, just so y'all can, uh, if there's something y'all want or whatever, y'all can prep. So. Yeah. And give y'all plenty of time to make your plan. Yeah. What she said. Other than that, I thought, <laughs> I, other than that, I hope y'all have an awesome, awesome weekend and um Yay. i'll be working on y'all's orders whoever has orders tomorrow thanks guys hugs happy friday see Peace you later